We are in here in southern of Denmark in our own forest in the Haderslev area. And uh, today we are trying to see if we could get a fallow calf or some red deer or some, uh, some uh, roe deer. We're going to put about 10 high seats out and then open the forest up that we also can have some more intensive hunting out here but not just for shooting the game but also selecting the game and also because it's we have 140 acres here what we uh, hunt in and we own and this is where we want to see if we can build up and get some good uh, fallow deer red deer and also some more roe deer roe deer is less what we have at the moment but that's the forest is very tight and very closed in. And that's why we're trying to put the high seats in and that's going to be in the winter time here in January, February, March. We're going to get opened up when we can get the machines into the forest but it's so wet so it would be destroying the forest, the surface, everything if we do it now. We can feed the deer, yes, in a certain period we can feed him and that's what we also, we have in, in the forest here we have at the moment three feeders we can put in for roe deer, fallow deer and also the red deer. But then that's where we uh, do it, we've got one, two in the centre and then we've just got one in the open field where we just passed before, but so that's more for the red deer. In Harford and my son Carl Christian were also walking in the woods and they were in another place, another area and I understand on them they've also seen fallow deer and some does so it seems like the game is here. See that? That's reasonably fresh. See the edges? See the edges are still quite firm. So that's it, that's earlier this morning. Okay, get ready. Get ready. It could be a doe. What a fabulous evening stalking. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any, anything on the ground, but we were very lucky that we saw a magnificent buck yeah. and uh, a couple of does that were disappearing away off into the forest, but unfortunately that's the, the luck of the draw. Uh, but what a lovely piece of ground you have here. Yes, it's, we have a lot of game here and it's very nice. I actually come with my dad mm. without no gun, just stalking with him. And learning. Yeah, yeah. and see how that, that's why I know the wood yeah. so good. 
Uh, this woodland uh, needs a little bit of work, uh, it needs rides cutting into it, it needs tree stands putting out, it needs game cameras, it needs uh, the feeding area sorting out, but as you can walk around it's a great blank canvas that's just ready for a little bit of work. So yeah. how enthusiastic are you to put the work into the forest as well as walking around and shooting the deer? Will you want to work with the wood so I have better opportunities mm. to see more game coming out and have better spots for high seats and well good well thank you very much for, for hunting with me tonight it's been a thank pleasure you. spending time with you uh, it's great to see how you've progressed and uh, and hopefully when we come back uh, in the summer for roebuck all the seats will be out and you did all the preparation on the wood will be complete hopefully yeah perfect now, now you can buy me a beer how's that sound yeah good <laughs>